Hello everyone and welcome to Dynamics Lectures. In this lecture we explain how to mathematically describe rotation of a rigid body around a fixed axis. More precisely, we will derive the expressions for velocity and angular velocity. Before I start with explanations, I would like to mention the following. First of all, the main motivation for creating this tutorial, as well as other Dynamics tutorials on this YouTube channel, comes from my observation that students and engineers often do not properly understand the dynamics of particles or bodies. For example, I notice that a large number of students and engineers do not even properly understand Newton's laws, and not to mention that they either have poor knowledge or complete lack of knowledge of more complex subjects such as rigid body dynamics. Proper understanding of rigid body dynamics is very important for robotics, aerospace engineering, guidance, navigation and control, etc. The main purpose of my dynamics lectures is to clearly explain the most important dynamics concepts such that people watching these lectures can be successful as engineers or scientists. Secondly, it took me a significant amount of time to create this completely free video tutorial as well as almost 300 video tutorials that you can find on my YouTube channel and consequently I kindly ask you to press the like or subscribe buttons. Thank you very much. Okay, let's start. We are considering rotation of a rigid body about a fixed axis and let's illustrate this case. Here's our rigid body. And let us assume that this rigid body rotates or spins around this axis that's denoted by Z. And this axis is completely fixed. And let's assume that this body rotates in this direction, around this axis. Next, let us consider an arbitrary point of our body that does not sit on the axis of rotation and let's denote this point by A. Let's illustrate over here the situation in more details. Here's our axis of rotation denoted by Z. Here's the spinning direction and here is our point A. Next, let us introduce a coordinate system. If this is the z-axis, on the z-axis we will place the center of our coordinate system and it will be denoted by O. Then, let this be y-axis and let this be x-axis. Next, let's find the projection of our point A onto the axis Z. Here is the projection. It is the point and we will denote this point by B. Next, we need to make one very important observation. The main question is, what is the shape of the trajectory that A makes when this body spins? And the answer is very simple. Since the body is rigid, this distance will always stay constant. That is, AB will stay constant. This implies that our A will always describe a circular trajectory. And let's illustrate this circular trajectory over here. Here it is. This is my best attempt to, dry, to draw an ellipse <laughs> or a projection of a circle. Okay, so here it is. Again, don't be confused. In practice, this ellipse is actually a circle. I'm sketching an ellipse since I'm sketching a projection. Next, let's find an angle that the line AB makes with the plane XZ. 
To find this angle, we first need to draw a line that's parallel to x and that starts from b. Here's the line. Let's identify the intersection of this line with our circle. Then, the angle that the line AB makes with respect to the plane XZ is actually this angle. And let's denote this angle by theta. The angle theta is known as the angular coordinate. Angular coordinate. What is the positive direction or the measurement of this angle theta? Well, if we are an observer and if we look at the situation from the top of the z-axis, the positive direction of the angle theta is in the counterclock direction. That is, this is actually the positive value of theta. The negative value of theta would be in this direction. Next, let's introduce our r vector, or the distance vector, of the point A from the coordinate system. Here's the vector r. And let this angle be denoted by alpha. Alpha is the angle between the z-axis and the vector r. Now, what is the velocity of the point A? We know that velocity is always tangent to the trajectory, and consequently, here is our velocity vector, v. Our main task is to find the mathematical expression for the velocity vector v. To find the expression for this vector, let's first introduce the notation for this point. Let this point be called C. And let's sketch this situation in two dimensions. And let's use red color for the trajectory. Here is our trajectory in two dimensions. When we look from the top of the z-axis, and let's sketch a nicer circle. Here it is. Here's our point C. That is the point originally given over here. Here is B. And let us assume that at certain time instant T, our point A was here. And let this angle over here be denoted by theta of t. Then, let us assume that after a certain time interval, delta t, our point A went over here. And consequently, let's denote this angle by theta of t plus delta t. Here's our point A at time instant t, and here's our point A at time instant t plus delta t. Let us denote this section of our trajectory, or the arc, as delta s. And consequently, let's denote this angle over here as delta theta. Now, what is delta s? Obviously, delta s is equal to the distance AB 
and this distance is always constant since our body is a rigid body times delta theta where delta theta is measured in radians on the other hand let us try to find the expression for a b in terms of the intensity of the vector r and this angle alpha for that purpose let's focus on the triangle o b a obviously from this triangle we have that a b distance is equal to the intensity of the vector r times sinus of alpha let's substitute this expression in the expression for delta s as the result we obtain delta s is equal to intensity of the vector r sinus alpha times delta theta on the other hand what is the intensity of the velocity vector the intensity of the velocity vector is a limit value when delta t approaches to zero of delta s over delta t we have limit value delta t approaches to zero let's see what happens over here let's substitute delta s over here and let's rearrange the expressions we have the intensity of r times sinus alpha and we have delta theta over delta t next from this expression we obtain since intensity of r is always constant this is due to the fact that our body is a rigid body and taking into account the angle alpha is always always constant we have v is equal to intensity of r times sinus alpha times limit value when delta t goes to zero delta theta over delta t and this expression delta theta over delta t and with the limit value is actually the first derivative of the angle theta with respect to time so we can write the expression for velocity is the intensity of the vector r times sinus alpha times first derivative of theta with respect to time and in dynamics we usually denote the first derivative of a variable by a dot for example if x is a function of time then the first derivative of x with respect to time is usually denoted by x dot consequently by using this convention we will obtain that the intensity of the velocity should be the intensity of the vector r times sinus alpha times theta dot where again theta dot is the first derivative of theta with respect to time okay we derive the expression for the intensity of the vector v the intensity of the velocity vector is equal to the intensity of the vector r times sinus angle alpha times theta dot next let us introduce the vector called omega and let this vector be defined as theta dot times k where k is a unit vector of our z-axis here is k consequently our omega vector lies on the z-axis here it is this vector that is the vector omega is the vector of angular velocity 
it intensity denoted by omega or simply denoted without intensity by omega is equal to theta dot. Next, let's see what is omega vector product r. Let's catch omega over here. Here it is. Now, what is omega cross r? Let's see its intensity first of all. Omega cross r is the intensity of omega, the intensity of r times the angle between omega and r and the angle is precisely alpha that is we have the sinus alpha over here again to correct myself the intensity of omega cross r is the intensity of omega times the intensity of r times the sinus of the angle between omega and r okay and what is this let's analyze what is the intensity of omega the intensity of omega is simply theta dot Consequently, we have that this expression is theta dot times the intensity of r times sinus alpha. Aha! Uh -huh. And that's precisely the expression given over here. That is, we have that the intensity of omega cross r is precisely the intensity of the velocity vector. Let's analyze this geometry. The vector omega cross r is the vector that's perpendicular to the plane formed by omega and r. On the other hand, we can also observe over here that actually our velocity vector is also perpendicular to the plane formed by omega and r. This fact, as well as this fact, imply that our velocity vector is equal to omega cross r where omega is the vector of angular velocity the intensity of the vector omega that's simply denoted by omega or theta dot is actually our angular velocity. This is a very, very, very important conclusion. The velocity vector of an arbitrary point A of a body that rotates around a fixed axis can be expressed as a vector product of angular velocity vector and the vector r. This is a fundamental equation in dynamics. For clarity, let us illustrate again what's happening in two dimensions. Again, our trajectory in two dimensions is a circle. Here's our circle. Here's our point A. Here's our z-axis. We see the z-axis as an arrow when we look from above. Similarly, we see omega vector simply as a top of the arrow. So omega is perpendicular to this plane. What is our r? r we don't see clearly. However, we see r only as the projection. And I will not sketch it. The velocity vector is perpendicular or better to say tangent to our trajectory. This is the velocity vector. And our vector v is simply omega cross r. Where this part over here is the projection of the vector r onto the plane of this circle. Okay, that would be all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I create, please press the like and subscribe buttons. Thank you very much.